Alright, as you can see, the kudzu is steaming. It takes a little while to cook, you know, uh, depending on the leaves you get. You want to get the small leaves. Smallest leaves on the vine. There's actually pea pods down at the bottom, but I wouldn't go looking for them because of the snakes. Unless you're really bold and you have a 22 or something, shotgun, I'd be real careful about that. You know, it's best if you're going to pick kudzu to throw some rocks into the kudzu and make sure there aren't any snakes down in there, stir them up, you know. If you hear something rattling, you know there's something in there. Anyway, uh, it's going to take a little bit to cook, so I'm going to cut the camera off again. I'll let the dog in while I go, and I'm going to link the videos together when I get done. But anyway, uh, when you get done cooking the kudzu, you can eat the kudzu, and you can also drink the water that it's boiled in and some people make a tea out of it and all that and uh, you know it's very healthy uh, my great papa called that pot liquor and if you drink liquor and smoke pot you should quit that and drink the liquor that's in this pot and now I'm not making wine here uh, I do not drink now I'm diabetic and uh, I had a problem with it so I put it down but uh, anyway, I'm going to put this on hold for a second while this cooks. should probably let it cook for a good 20 minutes or so. Uh, you know, let it come to a boil. You know, you should probably boil the water before you put the kudzu in. But I'm kind of impatient. You let it come to a boil, let it boil for about 20 minutes. And it'll make those leaves, the bigger leaves that you picked, nice and soft are softer you don't want to get the biggest leaves because they're really tough anyway uh, I'm gonna let you go for a second and uh, let this cook 